Welcome back. It is time to imagine it. We are here with the chief mad scientist, Carl Nelson, from the Imagination Station. I say that because I'm, I'm putting these gloves on. We got all kinds of liquid nitrogen smoke billowing. Exactly. We're going to combine nitrogen, liquid nitrogen with some electricity, light bulbs. I brought in an incandescent light bulb. Okay. Right. These are the kind of bulbs that are being phased up because they're really inefficient. But there's some really cool engineering that goes into making these things work. In fact, this 200 watt light bulb, which I'll have you hold right there. 200 watts. I don't think watts. I've seen one like that. The filament inside gets to about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, wow. which is just crazy when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. At 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, bulb manufacturers have to watch out for a couple of things. One, the metal from the filament will actually evaporate and leave the filament. The other thing is any oxygen inside the bulb will cause it to oxidize quickly and just burn out. All right. So I thought we'd try that. Okay. We'll see what that looks like. <laughs> so go, ahead and, go ahead and stick that on the table. In fact, okay. I'll give you the piece of paper. Gotcha. Go ahead and stick that on top of the bulb, and I'm going to give you the mallet. What? What? I want you to very gently tap the bulb, which is about right here. Okay. All right, just very gently tap it. Just through the paper. Just, just Don't try it. this at home. Don't anyway. try this at home. All right, okay. Just here tap we go. it gently. I have a professional Do mad it. scientist here. There we Excellent. go. Okay, let's see. Did we preserve the filament? We did. Oh, okay. I didn't know okay. that was the goal. That's Thanks the goal. Me. Okay. Very good. You did well. You did well. <laughs> now, the interesting thing here, I'll hold that for me. We'll turn it on, and the filament will heat up. Whoa! And it will then burn, burn out. out because the oxygen in the atmosphere just makes it rapidly oxidize, and then it's done. Don't touch that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take that away from you now. Thank you. Now, so I thought it would be interesting to take what manufacturers normally do, which is take that filament, which we just exposed, stick it inside another housing of sorts, sure. filled with nitrogen gas. Mm, okay. Because nitrogen has no oxygen, it should allow the bulb to light up, reach that 5,000 degree temperature, even though the ni liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees below zero. Okay? So that's a lot of stuff there, right? You're so blowing my mind. It's 320 <laughs> degrees below zero. We're gonna stick a light bulb down inside the liquid itself and see if it'll actually light up. Man, I think All that right? a light bulb went off somewhere over Carl's head All with right. this experiment. I'll let you uh, go ahead right. and gently hold this in here for me. Sure, sure. Go okay, just don't touch the no. liquid, though. Oh, right? no, bring it down. Oh, all plunge the way down? It, plunge it plunge right it into, into the liquid. The, okay, there We're we go. We're going into the liquid. We're going to plug it in a little bit further. Okay. Just rest it in there. Okay. Okay, turn it on. Wowzers. You can see all the extra uh, vapor coming off because <laughs> yeah. that 5,000 degree filament is heating up the nitrogen, turning it into a gas, and it continues to light up. Is that not the coolest <laughs> thing ever? It's really fun. <laughs> it's down inside the liquid, right? Yeah. Now, of course, I'll give you the honor of slowly pulling that out. Right, and now when I pull it out, is it going to once again dissipate just like we saw the other one? Well, remember, we got liquid nitrogen down here. We got nitrogen gas on top. If, okay. if you pull up slowly, right. so go ahead and do it. Should pull up slowly. You this? should be able to pull it up above the liquid. Okay, so okay. now we're just in the nitrogen gas. Okay. That's just like how bulb manufacturers will put argon or krypton or uh, nitrogen inside the bulbs. Right. If you keep pulling up a little bit further, and go ahead and pull okay. the whole thing out all gently, out. pull yeah. it all the way out. And here we go. Now we get the oxygen in the air, we're gonna actually start to oxidize the filament and it's gonna burn out. All right. Well, our hats Crazy. off to you, Thomas Edison. <laughs> yes. Thanks very much, Carl. Very fascinating experiment. If you wanna check out Carl doing his experiments and other kinds of experiments. Do some hands-on of your own. The Imagination Station, it is open and they've got Navy Week activities going next week. That's a big deal going on down there. It is. It's all throughout the week. We've got all sorts of cool activities happening tied in with Navy Week. We're going to have the Navy Band down there for a while as well. Definitely come down and check that out. Lots Excellent. Cool stuff. Thanks very much for being here, Carl. And now we're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.